Hi everybody, I'm Jim Clark. This is Ted Karras. Welcome to the 2013 Walsh University Football GLIAC Preview. Ted, first of all, welcome to Walsh. Well, thank you, Jim. Thanks for having me today. First football season as a Cavalier. Now, spring ball began last April. You took over for Jim Dennison in December. How did spring ball go? What did you learn from the Cavaliers during that first set of spring football? Well, we learned a lot. We learned that defense is probably going to be our strength this year. We have a savvy group um, laden with veterans. Offensively, we put in a new offensive system, so there's a lot of learning curve there. But we saw some good things that we liked. And then in terms of special teams, we got a lot of work done there. And um, it's going to be a big focus for our fall camp. A lot of fans always want to talk about offense. We'll talk about the Cavalier offense first. And first, your philosophy coming in with the football team. Well, as far as offense goes, we're going to you know, mold our offense around the talent we have. And uh, right now, I think some of our strengths are at the running back position and receiver position. Um, running back, Justin Keats going to um, be one of our top running backs. Uh, Steve Smith, Reggie Garner are also going to be vying. We have a, a great group of young guys coming in. At the receiver spot, we're led by Anthony Schrock, uh, uh, Daryl Gary. Uh, Danny Reed, uh, I think we have some real talent out there and some big playmakers that we're looking forward to see in, in more of a wide open offense. And then the X factor would be probably the offensive line. A uh, young group um, led by Zach Collin, he was promoted to captain over spring, but I like his leadership skills. He's going to have to lead vocally and by example. Quarterback is always the position. Um, it looks like out of spring ball, Paul Kemp had a very good spring. And, and also, he's a lefty. Yes, he's a lefty, and he had a very good spring. He's a dangerous threat, both passing and running the football, and that's something we're going to be adding to the uh, Walsh offense this year. Touching on some of the guys again offensively, I'm Anthony Schrock, as we've seen for two years. He can catch anything. Um, he could be a go-to guy along with Daryl Gary and his speed. Absolutely. You know, Anthony's going to get some touches not only down the field, but also in the screen games as well as Daryl. So, I mean, we're looking forward to seeing what they can do this training camp. And Justin Keith, the tailback, he's had flashes of being the guy that can run the football, bust big plays. He's also worked himself to death this summer. We've seen him every day. Yes, you know, he's working very hard. He's also been elevated to a captain as, as a younger player, and I like his work ethic, and I like what he can do in the backfield. And we also may be able to use him as a tight end or an H-back at times. Talk about the kick return team a little bit. Well, as far as it, it's, it's part of the offense, but really it's special teams. But hey, they can generate points. Oh, absolutely. Well, Pat White had a touchdown in the spring game. We have a lot of speedsters back there. The biggest thing is getting our schemes and getting our blocks. You know, there's been some changes to the you know kickoff and, and kickoff returns. A lot of guys are putting the ball in the end zone. So we're going to try to be very dangerous on special teams. I think that's one area uh, going into 2013 that we can really improve upon and score some points and make some big plays and hopefully generate some more wins. How about the kicking game? Well, the kicking game is wide open. You know, Tim Carter's uh, won it in the spring, but we're bringing in quite a few guys to challenge for that, as well as everything in our camp. I mean, everything's going to be open to competition, but that's one spot that uh, each and every day we're going to put them in live positions and see who's going to win it. Now, your team's in Marion, where you won a national title. We're wide open offensive teams. Can fans expect that? Oh, absolutely, yes. We're going to do a lot of the same things we did there. But once again, you know, we are going to mold the talent we have here. And right now, I, as I mentioned, you know, receiver and, and running back. Let's talk defense now. This defense, a veteran defense, had a good year last year. In the GLIAC for a year, they should be a strong point. Absolutely. I like the way that a lot of guys lead on defense. In fact, when, I, when we voted for captains, it was mostly almost all defensive players. We have a savvy group, a veteran group that starts in the defensive line with McLean, Roy, and Kohler, three seniors that want to leave a legacy here at Walsh at the Division II level. I think they're very hungry to do a good job. Linebacking crew led by uh, Corey Farkas and Cam Trudell, along with Nate Fillett. Um, those guys are a really good bunch right there, and they, they had an excellent spring. And then our defensive back group is, um, is very experienced, it's fast, cover well, starting with Jamaris Brown, Kerry Ray, Raymond. Uh, a lot of good players back there, too, so we're excited about what we can do defensively. And nice coming back for this defense, and for you for a first year, there's veteran guys at almost every position defensively. Yes, there is, and I think we, we, we're developing some good depth also, so that's good. And then also I'd like to mention, you know, Fred Thomas, who's done a heck of a job as a defensive coordinator here for a long time, someone that, uh, you know, I retained on staff, and he's just been a pleasure to work with and, and learn from. What type of defense? We're going to have to be attacking, blitzing, you know, moving. You know, one thing I've noticed looking at film, I don't know if we're physically as big as many of the GLIAC teams, and quite frankly, we're not. So we're going to have to be technique sound. We're going to have to play with a lot of a pa passion. We're going to have to put pressure on quarterback with blitzes and, and quick line movement. Watching film thus far, what have you learned about the GLIAC? Well, it's one of the premier leagues in, in, in NCAA Division II football throughout the country. I mean, it's a tough league. And the North right now is deemed better than the South, and I can see why um, after watching the film. But it's a tough league. But, you know, right now we're at the bottom. We're going to work every day to try to get to the top. 
Here's a cliche question. What are keys for the Cavaliers to win? Well, the keys are how we come together in training camp. You know, mandated to start on August 15th. We don't have a lot of time. We have 22 practices. So guys are going to have to grasp the system quickly. We're going to have to develop a good team chemistry. We're going to have to be competitive each and every day of camp. And then come September 5th, we're going to play the best guys available. So gelling as a team is, is a big factor, I think, for us. And we're pointing toward the fifth on the open area. So Thursday night, that's exciting right there to start with. It's against, it's against Edinburgh, a good, strong Division II program. Strong Division II program. You know, Kentucky Wesleyan dropped us uh, a few months ago. We're disappointed by that because they're supposed to come here. But we made a deal with Edinburgh. Very good staff, very good team. It's going to be quite a challenge to open up. And the schedule is nice early. You have a lot of home games early. But end of the season, the Road Warriors. Right, but I think as a, as a young program right now, being you know home for six out of seven uh, you know games, it hopefully will be an advantage for us. And then we have to go on the road, yeah, go to West Virginia and you know to Finley and some other places, and, and you know do a good job on the road. Now you're coming here with one of the greatest things in the history of football. I don't care what level you're at, you won a national championship. Yeah. That's something to bring to our players. They have a staff now that has won. I think that's big. Well, I do too. You know, we, we think we know the formula to lead them to the promised land of a national championship. And, and hopefully when they come in, they're going to come in with an open mind and, and be led by us. And I think they will. They've grasped, the guys here have grasped that so far. But, you know, come August you know, 14th, we're going to welcome 70 new players along with the 70 that are here. So it's going to be very interesting. But we're very excited about leading them. And, and we do feel that we know a formula to get there. Thanks, Ted. Best of luck. All right. Thanks, Jim. I'm Jim Clark. That's Ted Karras. This is the Walsh University 2013 GLIAC Football Preview.